Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dipakshi Sharma from Ramanujan College, University of Delhi. Today's topic is about mathematical softwares. In this video, we will see the softwares which are hidden from most of us. According to Wikipedia, a computer algebra system or SAS is any mathematical software with the ability to manipulate mathematical expressions in a way similar to the traditional manual computations of mathematicians and scientists. In general language, SAS is a software which operates just like human does while calculating the mathematical expressions. Open source and free software. A free software is a software which is free to use for everyone, for which we do not pay anything. An open source software is the one whose source code or code itself is available to everyone. Many of the usual softwares that we use are Latex, Mathematica, MATLAB, Tora, Excel. As educators, we must have used at least one of these. These are very common. Most of them are free, but softwares like Mathematica and MATLAB are paid. There are some unknown gems which we most of us are ignorant about. Such softwares are Microsoft Mathematics, Photomaths, GeoGebra, SageMaths, Kadabra, Maxima and Gap. In today's lecture, we will see few of them. I will take you to their sites and see how they operate. Let's start. So the first software that we have is Microsoft Mathematics. It is a solver which helps in the genuine problems or general problems of algebra, geometry, trigonometry and calculus. Again, it's a free and open software. It is a significant tool for all those who are struggling from basic mathematical problems. So this can be helped or given to the students so that they can solve their problems which they have learned up till now. It is very quick. It solves most complicated problems in the most easiest way possible. Let's move to its site. The interface looks like this. You can directly start working by typing the equation here using this calculator given to you. Or you can use the inbuilt functions by clicking on the links given over here. Coming back to the next software, we have Photomaths. It's more of an app which is easily available on the App Store. In this, as the name suggests, you click a photograph of the mathematical problem that you want to solve. You upload it on this app and the solution is available as quickly as possible. Also, it gives you the steps of solving the problem. The portal for Photomaths is here. You can start working directly on the site or you can download it from the App Store. The interface is easy and helps you to solve mathematical problems and equations. Next, we have another interesting app, GeoGebra. Now this GeoGebra is a dynamic system. Its main features are included as follows. It is an interactive geometry environment 
it has built-in spreadsheets it allows scriptings it also has built-in statistics and calculus tools it is has it has a built-in sas it has large number of interactive learning and teaching resources let's go to its site this was developed by Marcus in 2001 as in his master's thesis. So the interface looks like this and for this you have to get signed in. If you are already having an account, you just need to put your username and password. But if you are new, then you can join through Google. I already have an account for which I've registered. So I'm just going to go through it in this you've got many options and once you start operating it it takes you to the interface which looks like this you can directly start making the graph over here can use its tools so this is how it works the working is very easy you can plot and you can use all its features this is the free feature of graphing and there are many other features I'll just take another one for you This is how it draws the 3D images for the given function. Let's move to the other one now. Next we have SageMaths. Unlike the already discussed softwares, this is a heavy software. For this you have to download it from the website which is SageMaths.org. Here you will download this. This will get saved in your system and then only you can use it. It solves more complex problems of algebra, cryptography, number theory and calculus. Its interface is notebook sealed in the web browser that it connects to either the own installation or to another Sage server on the network. It is preferable for research, studies and education. If someone wants to go one notch higher, then they can use Cadabra. Cadabra is also an open software. It has large range of functionality designed for tensor polynomials, simplification that includes symmetries, anti-commuting variables, coordinate independence, multiple indices types and several others. It is mostly used by field theorists, quantum theorists, and string theorists. Let's move to another very beautiful software, which is Maxima. It is more like Mathematica and MATLAB, but it's free. Mostly, this is used to manipulate symbolic and numeric expressions such as differentiation, integration, Laplacian transformations, ODEs, Taylor series, system of linear equations, polynomials, etc. It's again a heavy software, so you first have to download it. The downloading can be done from this site, whose link is being provided. So you go to the downloads and download the type you want. If you want it for Windows, you just go and click over here. So using that link, you can download. 
Moving to the last software, which is GAP, whose full form is Group Algorithms and Programming. It is designed for abstract algebra, vectors, pieces, permutations, etc. This can be used in research as well as teaching. It comprises of topics such as vectors, algebra, representation, combinatorical structures, and several others. This is the downloaded interface which I have in my system. Thank you so much for your time and patience. I hope today's session was helpful for you. At least you can start now and use these softwares.